Hey everybody, check this out. This is seriously exciting right now. Um, I've been playing with different types of photogrammetry software out there and you know photogrammetry is where you take you know dozens and dozens of pictures of an object and then the you know computer magically creates a 3D object out of those from those pictures, right? And uh, I've tried a few of them and so far they haven't been great. Um, this is the first one I've had work very well right out of the box with just default settings. And the cool thing is um, there's actually a free version of it. So if you go to 3dflow.net, um, there is a free version of it. And I think they have some specials on you know, the actual for sale versions. So the, the, limiting, the main limiting factor of the free version is you can only give it 50 pictures. And that may sound like a lot, but for photogrammetry you really need Lots, the more pictures, the better um, job the computer can do. So um, I may actually bump up to the light version of this, I think. And I, I believe they're having sales on it right now. So um, we'll I'll check out the prices in one second here. But I just want to show you what it's done. So I took pictures of a 3D model. Um, I have a colored 3D print that I made some time ago. And you, you can see I... I didn't even take really great pictures. Um, you know, they're not completely in focus most of the time. So um, this could have been, I could have done better. I was just doing a real quick try of this. Um, so you see half of them are kind of not so great, but you know, I took dozens of pictures, all different angles. Um, I cropped out a few so I can get exactly 50. So I took those, fed them through the software, followed the instructions, used just default settings, and this is what it produced. Check that out. Isn't that amazing? I mean, the color's good. There's no weird wonkiness to it. I mean, it looks, it looks really good. I mean, it's even got like, you know, little, little zits here, which I think are probably on the actual pictures. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to see even in my pictures, but there are little zits there from the printing process. So that is pretty cool. I'm thoroughly impressed with that. Okay, so it looks like the light version has a perpetual license for 150 euro. But if you go to the home page and you scroll down, you'll see that they have a Black Friday sale. So if you actually click on the link for now, for that, um, you'll see that the light version, you can get it for 99 euros, which right now is $112. So that's not too bad. Uh, the other version is only a 90 day license and it's like $150. I, I'm not sure what the, the super whiz bang version is, but if the free version does what I want, I'm sure the light version is fine. So it looks like comparing the versions, um, the light version is pretty much like the free version, except you have more photos. And I think you have slightly different editing, better editing tools and slightly better exporting capabilities. The monthly version has, I guess, more exporting capabilities and a bunch of other crap that we really don't need for our purposes. Um, you know, you can add laser scan data in there. You can do all kinds of like surveys and stuff like that. This is for, you know, taking like aerial views and things, things of that nature or outside um, pictures. You can actually do surveying with it, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think for our purposes, the not the $112 uh, light version is the way to go. So I may pull the trigger on that. I'm gonna try this a little bit more and make sure I'm okay with it. And then I, I may actually buy this today. So yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd share that with you. So it's, uh, if you go to 3dflow.net, um, download the free version and try it out. Um, there's presets for hu the human body scans. <laughs> so. I may be standing in front of a green screen later today trying to take photographs of myself and my underwear. So that should be a fun weekend. <laughs> but we'll see how that works out. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll check you guys out later. Later, bye. 
Oh wait, check this out. I was actually able to delete the floor. Check it out. So now it's a solid um, model without the floor. That was actually pretty easy. Um, you just go to the, the tools section under mesh, mesh filters. I was able to cut with bounding box. So I just put a box around the thing itself and not the floor. And then um, I was also able to then fill in the hole in the bottom with um, fill holes watertight. And now it's a complete watertight object. How cool is that? Look, 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 it's in Blender. It's in Blender. How cool is that? Look at that.